Hello and welcome to this conversation that focuses on L'Oreal Paris's initiative Stand Up Anti-Street Harassment. To discuss this, we have with us Pao Gruat, General Manager of L'Oreal Paris India and Sohini Bhattacharya, President and CEO of Breakthrough India. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Sohini, tell us a bit about the Anti-Street Harassment Week and uh, is there more a need of it now because of the pandemic when people are more frustrated? As you know, you know street harassment against women um, uh, and street harassment in general is a huge thing uh, all over the world and you know to enable uh, any kind of social change you need champions so breakthrough is working with young champions so they understand how bystander intervention can prevent street harassment and uh, this also includes actions taken to prevent such incidents from occurring in the first place as well as response to urgent situations and so we are very very proud to partner with l'oreal in empowering young people to take action for themselves, for others, you know, now and as well as in the future. And, uh, you know, the COVID-19 situation is, uh, hasn't really changed anything as far as street harassment is concerned. I think, you know, one in three women still continue to face, you know, uh, harassment in their lives and that hasn't really changed. So we need this and we, uh, we continue to actually uh, address this because as you know bystander action, inaction is so common that it is almost normalized so our thing is to break through that. Pao, why and when did L'Oreal Paris decide to support this cause? So uh, it's um, you know it, it's for a very long time uh, the, the sense of purpose of the brand has been all about women empowerment uh, and it, it all started concretely uh, when we talk about stand-up here in 2019 that's when we decided to do a, a research uh, together with Ipsos across uh, eight different countries. And it's in that research where we actually identified that, in fact, the number one issue amongst women and girls uh, in India, but also around the world, uh, is street harassment, which uh, you know, uh, concerns in one way or another 80% of women and girls. And that's really the moment where we decided to uh, together with, uh, with in partnership with, with Hollaback to create Stand Up, and then uh, here in India in partnership with Breakthrough to launch it in uh, November of uh, last year, 2020. All right. Uh, so, Amy, what can we all do as men, women, and parents to reduce this harassment on the streets? Because um, I remember it's been at least around me forever since I mean, since I can remember. So one of the things that Breakthrough really strongly believes in is that there is a huge power in showing people how to flip the dominant culture. And there is a huge power in youth. If we leverage these two and in, in, instead of normalizing violence, normalizing bystander, uh, you know, uh, normalizing sexual you know, harassment in public spaces and street harassment, if we do just stand up, if we do stand up against it and we call it out. I know it's, it's probably just the tip of the iceberg, but if we just do that and if we continue to do that systematically, it really creates a ripple effect. And what this partnership with L'Oreal helps us to do is to actually structure that intervention in a much more systemic way so that you, you give people the tools. You know, uh, people often do not know how to stand up. They would like to stand up, but they do not know how to stand up. So with this training, we give them the actual tools of how to do this, you know. Pao, tell us a bit about uh, 5D training and is stand-up training only for women or men as well? So what is the 5D methodology? It's basically a toolbox of five different techniques. Uh, there is direct, which is a direct a confrontation with the, with the harasser. There is this tract where one can create a small distraction in order to um, put the attention focus on something else. There is delegate, where in situations where there is a figure of authority, one can uh, approach it and, and, uh, and, and look for, for assistance. Document, which simply consists about documenting what's actually happening and then putting it at the disposal of the victim. And finally, delay, which is as simple as uh, checking on the victim uh, once the situation has, has concluded and offering, offering help. Uh, and one can choose what's the most appropriate tool depending on the context and depending on the, on the situation. 
And since it's addressing uh, anyone who's witnessing a situation of uh, street harassment, it's of course inclusive of both men and women who, who are in such situation and who want to intervene uh, safely. So we're very, very excited about, uh, about this project, about what it means uh, both for Breakthrough and for the Royal Paris brand. And, uh, and we're really committed to make it really, really big here in, in India and to uh, hopefully be able to make a difference. All right. So if you could quickly tell people who are, are wanting to fight or stand up against uh, street harassment and domestic violence, what should they do so in it? Active bystandership requires uh, moral courage. It requires acting on one's values and beliefs in spite of sometimes potentially negative consequences. It's very important for you to learn how to do it, you know, so that your conviction of your own action can actually be supplemented with some skills which would bring you know a passive bystander into an active one and in that lies the uh, the encouragement of women to actually be out in the public to join the workforce in large numbers to actually not drop out of their public life so please you know stand up and say no to violence my last question to you sohini uh are there a certain uh, type or kind of people that are more prone to street harassment and violence? The answer is no. The answer is that it cuts across. It cuts across rural, urban, semi-urban, peri-urban areas. It cuts across rich, poor. It cuts across women dressed in any kinds of clothes. It, it cuts across all times of the day. Uh, a lot of people talk about street harassment in the middle of the day and not just in the evening. So really, it is, it's, it's something that is experienced by everyone. Wonderful, Pao. Congratulations on this effort. Uh, and thank you so much, Sohini, for your time and your insight. Thank you. And I just wanted to add uh, one last thing, if I may. Uh, I'm personally extremely, extremely proud of, of, uh, of the stand-up partnership that we're doing with uh, Sohini and Breakthrough. And, and I think it can really make a huge difference. So uh, thank you so much for, for allowing us to have this chat. And I would really encourage anyone watching this to go to standup-india.com and do the training. It's quite fast. It's 20 minutes, but it's extremely powerful. And it's, uh, it's quite impressive how it makes a difference in terms of enabling people to intervene in terms of uh, witnessing a situation of street harassment. Great. Thank you so much.